a fake abduction ransom scam. University students in Thailand have been coerced into participating in an intricate scam operation revolving around filming fake abduction videos. The intention was for these videos to be sent to the students' parents as a means to extort ransom money. The case emerged when a student from Lat Krabang district was entrapped in the same scheme, resulting in a rescue operation on August the 7th. The shady operation is suspected to be coordinated by a gang based in call centers located in Myanmar in Cambodia. These allegations were put forth by Police Major General Kun Pantana and the leader of the Police Cyber Task Force team. Elaborating on the fake abduction scam incident, Pantana revealed that the scammers had first contacted the unsuspecting victim, third-year student from a university in the Bangkan district. The individual was told that they were communicating with Thai post office staff and where her bank passbook was allegedly discovered. The passbook had supposedly been linked to money laundering activity and was found amid 12 passports from Myanmar, 9 ATM cards, and a total of 8 bank passbooks. The scammers used this fraudulent narrative to convince the students to file a report with Songkla police. As a student could not travel to the province herself, the scammer introduced another cohort pretending to be the superintendent of the Songkla police station. The student was asked if considerable sums of money had been received in her account, leading her to discover a transaction worth of 13,000 baht from an unknown source on the same day. Pantana further recounted that fake documents bearing the student's ID and full name were produced by the scammers, providing pseudo-validation to their police impersonation. Under the guise of potential implication in an alleged money laundering case, the student was directed to switch her phone number, vacate her residence to check into a hotel in Rangsit area in Patum Thani and erase her presence on social media platforms. The student was later told to record herself as if she had been kidnapped with her hands and ankles bound on duct tape. The footage was subsequently forwarded to her mother as a method of deception, leading her to believe her daughter had been taken hostage. After the authorities arrived at the fake abduction scene and rescued the student, the scammers abruptly ended their communication. Later, investigators suggested that the scammers were likely operating from Tashikek, Myanmar. What a wild story. <laughs> like that one. It just felt like fake ransoms and like, yeah. yeah. Well, I thought it was just like university students were getting together to troll their parents to get some extra money. But yeah, this is like a proper call center scam taken to another level. Really? Like, right? Yeah, what a twist and turn that was. I can't, and it's hard to believe. Students, people can fall for mm. a lot of things, man. Yeah. That's, uh, that's scary. They were told to do kidnapping videos. Yeah. Like, how does that... How do you th yeah, this seems legit. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm glad they got yeah. <laughs> that taken care of. It's a weird story.